Throughout history, we've seen heroes rise, empires fall, and moments that make you say, you've got to be kidding me. I'm Leo, your backseat driver on this roller coaster through time. They say history repeats itself. Let's just hope it doesn't decide to resurrect mullets. Ready to dive into the darker corners of our past? Fasten your togas and hold onto your sandals. Welcome to Echoes of Valor. Have you ever heard about the Battle of Kaha? Well, buckle up, because it's one wild ride filled with ambition, deceit, and unfortunately, terrible military decisions. But first, let's meet our key players. Meet Marcus Licinius Crassus, a Roman general, a politician, and one of the richest men in the Roman Republic. He was ambitious, but ambition isn't always enough. You need a solid game plan, too. I shall make Rome tremble. I shall surpass the victories of Julius and Pompey. Then we have Surena, a Parthian general and nobleman. He's the guy you don't want to underestimate, even if you've got Roman legions at your back. The Romans may come with their numbers, but they will learn to fear the Parthian arrows. Ah, the sweet smell of overconfidence. Well, in 53 BC, Crassus led a Roman force to invade the Parthian Empire, a plan as brilliant as pouring water into a sieve. His lack of understanding of the terrain, enemy tactics, and overconfidence would soon prove disastrous. Now imagine thousands of Roman soldiers marching through the scorching desert, while the Parthians, a smaller force, mind you, shower them with arrows. The Romans were used to close combat, but the Parthians, clever folks that they were, used a tactic known as the Parthian shot. This was a military tactic where Parthian horse archers would feign retreat, then turn their bodies while on horseback to shoot at the pursuing enemy. Kinda like that action movie stunt where the hero shoots while jumping out of the way, except, you know, on horseback. The Roman soldiers didn't stand a chance. Crassus's son, Publius, was killed in battle. And Crassus? Well, legend has it that the Parthians executed him by pouring molten gold down his throat. A symbolic gesture for his insatiable thirst for wealth. The Battle of Carhe was one of the most crushing defeats in Roman history. Out of around 40,000 Roman soldiers, it's believed only about 10,000 returned home. This is a tale of how overconfidence, greed, and lack of strategy can lead to downfall. It's not the numbers, but the wisdom to use them that counts. The shadows of Carhe whisper this lesson even today. And that's it, folks. The Dark Tale from the Pages of History. A lesson on why not to bite off more than you can chew. Don't forget to hit the like button if you enjoyed this thrilling journey. Make sure to subscribe to our channel for more fascinating insights from the past. Share your thoughts in the comments below. Until next time, stay curious, stay hungry for knowledge, but never too greedy.